Breaking news, Caroline Ellison, the CEO of Alameda, the sister company to Sam Bankman frieds FTX, Caroline Ellison spotted at Ground Support Coffee on West Broadway in Soho, Manhattan at 8.15 a.m. today. Yeah, absolutely could pull it off without my math degree. <laughs> use very little math. Um, use a lot of like uh, elementary school math. Being comfortable with risk is very important. <laughs> um, <laughs> we tend not to have things like stop losses. I think those aren't necessarily a great risk management tool. I'm trying to think of a good example of a trade where I've lost a ton of money. Many believe that this woman should be in jail for the atrocities she and SBF committed against FTX users, yet she's ordering coffee in New York. And this would mean she's not in Hong Kong or in Dubai like originally speculated. Is this real? Is this her? Apparently, it is her. This was confirmed by coffee shop staff less than 17 minutes from when this story broke. Confirmed. Are you behind the counter in the photograph? I'm not. That is one of my staff members. Apparently, additional Alameda personnel were spotted with her in that photograph. So Caroline Ellison, living it up in Soho, Manhattan, definitely not in custody, seemingly not in hiding. What's interesting is that ground support cafe coffee shop just about six minutes away from an FBI field office. If you appreciate us sharing this information with you, give this video a like. Let's get this information out there to as many people as possible. More people need to know about this. So what is Caroline doing in Manhattan close to an FBI office? The general consensus is that Caroline is likely in New York cutting a deal and cooperating with the South District New York prosecutors to roll on Sam. And this makes sense, right? Sam Bankman fried the CEO of FTX, has been active this week doing interviews, seemingly on a press tour, seemingly with the goal to put out a series of specific messages. People lost a lot of money. And I mean, at the end of the day, Look, there's a question of what happened and why and who did what. I wasn't even trying. Like, I wasn't spending any time or effort. One idea SBF continues to claim is that he had little knowledge of what was actually going on with Alameda. He continues to suggest that Alameda was at arm's length from what he was in charge of. That's not really true, is it? At least, that's not what the evidence is suggesting. Please watch our video from one to two days ago. Did Sam Bankman fried know Alameda was stealing customer funds? To catch you up, this is an example of that specific message that SBF is putting out. SBF claimed to New York Magazine in an article published Thursday, it's not a company I run. It's not a company I have run for the last couple of years. And Alameda's finances, I was not deeply aware of. I was only surface level aware of Alameda's finances. Yet, basic research, in this case by Forbes, is showing otherwise. It appears that five different times Sam Bankman fried sent Forbes details of some of Alameda's major holdings in response to questions about SBF's net worth. This was from January 2021 to August 2022, late August. This information included explaining specifics of certain transactions, updating the numbers of FTT, Solana, and Serum tokens, which Alameda held. So Sam Bankman fried has been on a press tour claiming he had very little knowledge of what was going on with Alameda, throwing the whole Alameda team under the bus. I consider myself a student of human nature. What SBF has done in public appearances this whole week is throw the entire Alameda team under the bus, blaming them almost completely, prosecutors likely already talking to those ex-employees, like a Caroline, will use this as leverage to get Max info. Might have been a bad play by SBF. So the coffee shop knew it was Caroline in which they were serving. Can you imagine being this barista? I handed Caroline her coffee cake and turned the iPad around. As she tapped, no tip, she whispered in my ear, nobody will ever believe you. So why is it that neither her or SBF are in custody? Bernie Madoff was in custody the day after he got caught. 
Meanwhile, the CEO of Alameda is just chilling in Soho, getting a cup of coffee two weeks after blowing up FTX, the second biggest crypto exchange in the world, and stealing all of customers' funds. Again, subscribe to our channel. This is a developing story. We will continue to keep you updated as new information comes out, a video every day on crypto. This is why you subscribe. And it's important to remember that the turmoil, the low prices in the market right now are because of what Caroline and SBF are doing. The reason the cryptocurrency market is still near the lows today is still because of the contagion of FTX and Alameda. I remind you, we're still waiting on this. Genesis Trading reveals a $175 million worth of funds locked in FTX. Genesis Trading is the latest firm to declare exposure to FTX and may look to its parent company, the Digital Currency Group, for help as it did after the Three Arrow Capital bankruptcy. And there's questions right now whether Grayscale, Digital Currency Group, Genesis will be okay. For more information on that, check out our video from 11 days ago, Crypto Empire on Verge of Total Collapse. Today, just 22 hours ago, new information. Alameda Research invested $1.15 billion in crypto miner Genesis Digital. So this is another company. This is a crypto miner company. Caroline's Alameda Research invested apparently $1.15 billion. Sam Bankman-Fried was consulted on the capital injection, which is made before crypto prices plummeted. We're going to see what happens to Genesis Digital Assets in the future. Finally, my friends, very important to remind you that nothing fundamentally for Bitcoin specifically, maybe crypto in general, has changed. There's fear uncertainty and doubt in the market, but nothing has fundamentally changed about the Bitcoin protocol except for its fiat exchange rate. Number of active addresses trending up. Block height trending up. Bitcoin's supply flow issuance trending down. Bitcoin's hash rate breaking all-time highs. Elon Musk announcing crypto payments are coming to Twitter. Listen to this. Can you comment on uh, freedom to transact, Bitcoin, Lightning, Twitter, anything we could we can look forward to? Um, if you have control of the money, monetary system and control of transactions, you can literally stop someone on transactions. It seems like PayPal has strayed pretty far from the path of that. Like there, I've been banned from PayPal. PayPal. Is, 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 seems to be moving in the direction of social credit and and where it, and restricting transactions. Um, and uh, you know, so that's 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 concerning. So and I do think there is a role for crypto in the future, without speaking to any particular, particular crypto coin, um, as a means of ensuring that the monetary system does not get completely corrupted. It essentially it provides competition to the fiat system, so that if the fiat system becomes um, overly restrictive and crypto will grow like basically the, the better that the fiat system uh works the the less prominent crypto will be and the worse the fiat system becomes the more uh crypto will grow you do want to ha have twitter en enable both uh regular payments and uh you know, fiat currency make it easier to transact with crypto Uniswap decentralized exchange doing more volume on Ethereum than any centralized exchange, including Binance and Coinbase, over the last 24 hours. Avalanche cryptocurrency, big partnership. Avalanche to power Alibaba's cloud infrastructure services in Asia. Avalanche's partnership with Alibaba Cloud will see the development of tools that enable users to launch Avalanche validator nodes on Avalanche's public blockchain platform in Asia. So much is happening in cryptocurrency. We update you on a daily basis. See you tomorrow, my friends. By the way, if you're planning to attend Bitcoin Conference 2023, let's hang out. It's going to be epic. Use code altcoin daily, 10% off. This is the biggest Bitcoin conference in the world. Use code altcoin daily, 10% off. See you there.